the Gabby here, it's always, it doesn't really matter uh, what you do first. It's always a fantastic wicket, sort of batting or bowling first. So it was a little bit in the wicket early this morning, but usually too, it gets under the lights and a bit of moisture in the air into the wicket and sort of skids through later on as well. So we weren't too fussed about the result and just happy to get away with the win. It is a bit of a relief, but I think sort of the belief we've had in the group at the moment that we knew we weren't too far away and we're getting sort of in positions to win games and especially like the MCG and just falling short the last hurdle. Um, so we've played some very good cricket in those times, just haven't come away with a win. So tonight, yeah, it's, it's good to get away with a win for the first one in a while, but sort of um, we just keep continuing playing good cricket and set ourselves up for the summer. Oh, at the end of the day, you're, you're in sort of in the mix to play for your country. Um, and sort of growing up, it's every boy who dreams to play career for Australia. And whether you're sitting in the sidelines for a few games and bide your time, just make sure as soon as when you get your opportunity, you make the most of it. And um, hopefully tonight I did. Well, that's a very good point. The fact that you've got five wickets on the first test venue must put you in a good step. Oh, yeah, and you can always say that. And there's also, too, some quite a good bowls around the country at the moment. And um, I'm probably a little bit down in the pecking order. Uh, there's no secret about that. But just sort of bide your time. And if some stage in time during the summer you get your opportunity, just make sure you make the most of it. Um, that's all you do is keep doing controlling what you can control and keep bowling well. And um, if your time comes, it comes. If it's not, then just keep doing what I can for Victoria and to the best I can. Oh, at the moment, I wouldn't have thought so. I wasn't, haven't been in the last two uh, squads for the test squads, so I don't know. I don't think it's going to change there. And like I keep saying, there's some great bowls sort of coming back um, into full fitness now, like Ryan Harris bowled last night, um, Dean Hobart bowled beautifully, so he comes in as well. And like I said, we've got a shield game coming up um, against New South Wales next week. Just continue to bowl well and do the best I can to try and make sure whichever team I'm playing for at the time win some more games to create. I think he bowled quite well tonight, sort of zipped him through quite nicely and could have quite easily walked away with three or four wickets, a few plays and misses, and so he's not too far off. And you have days where you bowl brilliantly, you don't take a wicket, then you have other days you don't bowl so well and get five or six. So it's only a matter of time for him, and he's playing another Shield game um, coming up in the next round, and he'll be right and fight and fit and ready to go when it comes out here uh, for the first test. So he's looking forward to it. Do you see Sri Lanka as the main threat for the World Cup? Oh, I think anyone in the World Cup's a threat. Um, it's a great tournament. Everyone's sort of um, gearing the one day, one day cricket game um, for the World Cup. So when it comes to India in February is when it's time to start. I think everyone's sort of ready to go and fit and firing. So yeah, Sri Lanka's a very good cricket side. They've proved over the last uh, sort of the first two games. Plus you got all the other sort of nations as well: India and Pakistan and England and the West Indies. Anyone sort of can win games cricket on the day. Oh, it's always good to win games of cricket and you don't like losing games and that's what we've done sort of the first two one days here so I don't know if we can forget about it but it's definitely something we can learn from and this sort of this game tonight we saw we play some very good cricket and sort of kickstart our summer uh, along nicely sort of gearing into the ashes coming up to the sort of next international game with the five test series there and then the one days before we go to the World Cup so we've got plenty of cricket to play for and hopefully tonight's the first step in the right direction to make sure we play some great cricket all summer. I think he's quite happy down there. I think he hasn't stopped smiling um, since we're bowling. So he bowled beautifully tonight, another great one for the future. Um, there's a lot of young sort of quicks coming through, and Mitch put his hand up tonight, bowled beautifully. Good pace, swinging around a little bit, and he's going to be one to watch out for, definitely.